Hello and welcome back to the Scarlet Cascabel. We have a pile of gold, which I didn't realize I had open. We are exploring the guest rooms. Been in room three. Let's check. We've been in room four. Well, we tried. Well, if we tried, the door doesn't open. We were in there from the other side. Dear Mr. Ashmole, additional cleaning fees have been added to your bill. If you wish to avoid these charges in the future, please aim more carefully when vacating your waste. The management. Oh, it's not piles of spew then. Maybe, I don't know. He's drunk enough to have been spewing a lot. It was... Well, Garrett has no sense of smell, so... Uh, and couldn't tell what it was. Alright, room two. I say, is it currently vacant? No, but it's also not locked. Hello, my good sir. Are you rich? Do you have... Lots of, lots of uh, valuables for me. I can hope. Can't see these, these mantel pieces are ridiculously high. How's a good thief supposed to be able to uh, see? How to win lords and influence serfs for the traveling merchant. It doesn't look like there's anything on there. It doesn't move. Let's check above the bed. <coughs> Nothing on bed. <coughs> now, the problem is, sir, I need to check the bathroom, and you're wandering back and forth between here and there. So, I think it's only fair. <coughs> it's about time you went to sleep, don't you think? Yeah, see, so you dropped your money in here. How do you expect me to steal that when you're just walking back and forth in there all the time? Seriously, some of these, some of these nobles spare not a single thought for the honest thieves trying to just make a living. Right, well, we're down there next. Room one is apparently the one they. Want to move Nightingale into? Apparently, this was one that's uh, quite haunted. Let's see exactly how haunted it is. Ah. Looks pretty normal to me. It's a clock that echoes a bit, but. Uh... Oh, hello. Check out the bathroom. What's this? Theme is in literature. Why we can never go home. The fireplace. It doesn't seem to have anything uh, particular amiss. Bedroom. It's a nice suite. It's uh, nothing behind the door. A lounge. Nice bed. Let's you know, check on the bed above the bed as usual. One of them, one of them surely has something about on the top of the bed, right? I'm not wasting my time entirely, surely. Bathroom. Some gold specs. Well, I don't know why you say this place is, well, is the most haunted room, you know? It's, well, second most. Maybe the doors need oiling, they're all a bit slow and squeaky. Uh. Uh, hello? A shadow of somebody who hung himself. Ah, oh, the chair is tipped over. Unfortunately, the shadow is quite low poly. <laughs> Disappeared with the sound of a great opening. Alright, the fire's gone out. Okay, well, I mean, it, it will. Scare some guests, I suppose. But really, Mr. Ghost, you should waste your pranks on me, waste your energy trying to prank me. It's, it's not, uh. Have I been here? Yes. Opposite pool. Yeah, the stairs there to the basement, okay. Let's check out the pool. Staff key. Let's 
We should find another. Hello. We should hopefully find another pawn or well, chess piece of some kind in here. And a few valuables. It's a strange ball, as if from some future sport that hasn't been invented yet. Who's swimming? Oh. Okay, that's, uh, need some special key, alright. I wonder if that's what Mr. Stonky is doing right properly. I wonder if that's the thing Nightingale is reporting about. Any other water arrows? No? Must be funny. Oh, hello. Run splashes. Okay, what does the book say about about the deep? The deep. Uh, above the deep, I never slip. Be careful lest you take a dip. I see two rafters. Are they made of wood? Do seem to be. Let's check each one out. Hello. One three. There's nothing on this one, is there? Be a strange place to store your loot, right? What's a lot about be careful lest you take a dip? It's by far the easiest way to get off a red barrel. Alright, we have one for the pool. Four out of sixteen. Alrighty. We have been... I've got that key. X. What's the X in room four? Why did I write an X in room four? Because I've been there. Uh, I've been to everywhere here. Symbol here is under the stairs. We've got the staff key. We've greased that. We've been everywhere on the ground floor. Let's head back north and head back to the stairs to go up to the next floor. Yeah, we went to the courtyard too, but we need to see it from above. Dining room. Alright, second floor. To gallery, second floor, and library. Gallery, second floor sounds good, because that's the way to get access to... The thing that was on display in the gallery, right? Oh, hello, it's, it's this window. Uh, I think I see something in there. Let's take a jump. Yep. 1 6. Can I get back? No, not like that. Let's try that once more. Yeah. Not really working. Let's just go around again. It's not far to get to the stairs. Oh, we came here before, right? That's Elizabeth Blackwell. Is that you trying to help me? And I suppose. Perhaps I am. Oh. 
All right, let's just look south over here. And we could actually cross all the way around. So this is... This room. So this is going to be gallery second floor here. No. It's the library. Wait, I'm turned about. Is this the gallery second floor? Um, gallery second floor should be in the west. Oh, we're stuff here. Right. No, this isn't the gallery yet. Oh, hello. Which one is this then? Oh, the portraits by candlelight, right? probably remember this mostly in case I don't it's uh useful to notice the staff key up in this what do we need a it does say so, or do we need a different key uh oh, that doesn't open the hatch of course all right so we still need a key to get that all right where's our staff key again oh and the key is needed for the door up here. Guess. Just says private, doesn't say what it is. Hopefully it's other valuables that they've occasionally put on display in the gallery. All right, that was west. We are going south. I guess, or the library? Oh, they have armed guards up here. That's, uh, the first weapon I've seen in this place. Um, are you sure you're all right there? What's that? Hey, is someone in? I surrender. So you really shouldn't stand on a chandelier. It's quite hazardous. Let me rescue you. After knocking you out, of course. It's not the most ideal rescue. Alright, what does it say about the library? Through the glass, the dark of night, within the glow of learning's light. Through the glass, the dark of night. Is there a... window looking out? What's going south from the library? Where does that go? Through the glass, the dark of night. Okay. Through the telescope's glass, it's night. Within is the library. So where would... Oh, hello. There's a ledge here. So where would this pawn be hiding? But, uh... Maybe on this ledge. No, well, I'm not gonna... Can I fit? Yeah, well, I will fit. Oh, hello. How far around does this ledge go? All the way to that balcony. Okay, what about if we go the other way? <laughs> There's a remarkably large ledge. An open window. Hello. <laughs> Dear Lucky, it must be so boring. You probably feel like your master's dog confined to your kennel. I thought you could have some fun with these fancy spectacles. The Phantom. Wait, you left that note. For the person who lives in this room, or for me? Hopefully it's for the person who lives in that room. 
Where's this chest pulling hiding? Somewhere here, nearby. Just pulling, but I'll take it. I have a feeling I might have to knock this fellow out. He's tra traipsing around everywhere. And I'm gonna have to search every bookshelf. Seems. Should be. Shouldn't be necessary. It should be. Seems excessive. How to restore virginity using mummy dust. <coughs> Who made that noise? What, the throat clearing? That was you. Well, I'm not seeing... Uh... <gasps> Who made that noise? You know what, you can sleep. <coughs> The Adventures of Baby Lemonade. Oh, it's nice and dark now. Let's try upstairs in the library. I think there might be another guest. Yes, indeed. Start at one end. Try and be somewhat thorough, if not entirely meticulous when we are blinded by the world best to see with the eyes of the mind Bruno Mansell oh hello there's a second key in the library third floor Uh, a lot more to this place than meets the eye. <laughs> Make yourself at home in our rich library. Let Odyssey and Adventure carry you away while enjoying the ample fruits and wines of our fair countryside. Hotel proprietor, private office. Well, while, while we're here, why not check it out? Oh, he's probably got his own key we need, right? Yeah, alright. Well, I really shouldn't be on the uh, third floor yet, but I uh, don't plan to go beyond the library for it. What's that? Money. How Delsing is used to identify Warlocks, a courtroom companion. And there's another thing up there that's... This library is enormous! Ah, who made that noise? Knights 2 is back on the chessboard. I wonder if that is the one we were looking for. Let's check the book. Um, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one. Maybe this is the one we've got. Probably this is one we just got. We got that one. We got that one. That's in the crypt, but I haven't been there. So, no, 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 no. Where can spirits be consumed whilst pulling your dairy out? Okay. Go drinking in the bathroom. No. All right, that, that must be the library one. So we got the library one. You know what, I'm not, I'm gonna... My notes are out of date and redundant. I'm just gonna get rid of them and just work with the book. I think I'll remember when I look at the book as to which ones I've done already and which ones I haven't. Now, look at these beams. They're, they're, they're just basically saying, Taffer, get up here. <laughs> you know, 
wooden beams could speak. These ones would be orating. See, look at this. And I knew there was something up here, but this is metal, I think. Hello. I'm well off the beaten track. I was just trying to explore the library, and now I'm in a crawl space. Leads onto the roof. Lots of crawl space. <sighs> I'm always surprised by how um, modern ventilation systems are in these. What? Are you... you all right there? Uh... <sighs> I was down on worship, it's me or I slept you again. <sighs> How to take possession of a soul using ordinary household items. What's up with the spinning guy? Day 2455. My plan to break the will of that smug maintenance man has finally come to fruition. Everyone blames him for the missing toolbox. I watched three more nobles eat my special chowder. These fools seem to like it. Hee <laughs> hee. I wish I had something new to keep me entertained. I grow tired of reading servants' diaries and watching them go poop. I miss the old days when I used to play cards all night and drink myself sick. I wish I'd died in a brothel. Day 2458. Something new at last. Who could have guessed I'd find the answer to this ennui in the diary of that silly maid? I shall prepare to inhabit a new vessel. Who knows what mischief awaits? Time to begin the dark work. Here's JJ. Yeah, you're a trickster ghost in the least threatening meaning of the word trickster. Although, you did actually hurt me there, so yeah. Oh yeah, you keep reciting your trickster poetry there. Does very dark in here. On the way down to I'm not sure where. Let's remember that. Oh wait, this is attics. Attics. There's another pool in one of the attics. Which one? What does it say? Didn't say anything about uh, a book spinning in a magic circle chanting high-pitched incantations. It said, up among the dusty crates in cobweb dark, the queen awaits. Although maybe, maybe that, that was the queen that we were just encountering. So we should be on the lookout for... Uh, So I bet we can get through there as well. Honestly, why are all the ventilation ducts, ducts leading to the attic? It's like... Hello, is there another spooky thing I missed? Creepy. A statue. Are you the queen? Outside of uh, making spooky sounds, as if the player isn't looking in the right direction, it would just 
fall a little flat. But, uh, I suppose it's okay if you're... Aha. Uh -huh. I was going to say, if you're aiming for... Uh... Didn't mean to fall off there. If your uh, ghost is more comedic than terrifying, I guess it's not too much of a loss. How do I get there? That's wood. Queen is back on the chessboard. I think I can hit the rafters. Alright. Done with this attic? No, this is this whole section of it. Oh, wait. Oh, there is something on top of one of the beds. I knew there was something on top of one of the beds. This is. I don't know which room. But. Oh, yeah, he now you'll calm down. You won't see anything. Don't go in there, you said. Well, I'm really not planning to just yet because I'm still... I can't remember where I actually came in here from. Was it up there? Yeah, it was over, over that way. Ouch. Well, I still got more food, right? Oh, I've got healing fruit, healing potion. <laughs> that was where I came in. Or was it? No, up here was where I came in. Okay. Where's the stickers? Staff key? Okay, this is the third floor. Access to the attic. I don't actually want to come here yet. I don't need to lock it again, though. Right, so we were running around inside ventilation ducts as a slight diversion from our trip to the library. There's at least two rooms, no, three rooms we can access through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Storm clouds grow, lightning I guess I'll probably have to exercise them at some point or something. So, where does this go then? And that one doesn't open. Alright, oh, that's, that's takes us back to the library. Alright, so when we're doing the third floor, if there's rooms we can't get into, we come back to the library, so... Uh, one of them is probably... This one, I guess? Maybe that one? I don't know. All right, where did I put my rope? Did I take it back again? Oh, what was that? Oh, there it is. See, mate, there's no way you should have seen me up here, let alone heard me. All right. Who's there? Me. Hello? Ancient curses and bindings. A curse binds itself like a parasite, causing eventual death of the body. In extreme cases, an individual is bound by the four aspects of being. The body, mind, soul, and spirit. These are the most agonizing of known curses, as the body decays in a living death, and the spirit wanders in a state of madness. 
Blooming Rites, for example, are thought to bear this type of curse, and specific rituals must be performed in order to destroy them. I wonder if that's at all relevant to uh, our situation here. Seems unlikely. Boris Davidov. He has a name. Come on. It's a big fireplace. Can't actually fit in it though, so I guess there's no secret passage inside it. Oh, there is money on the mantelpiece. Always check the mantelpieces. Okay. I think that means I'm done with the library for now. That was locked. This leads out to the third floor, which I'm not quite ready to explore yet. I'm finish the second floor. Okay, um... Where was the way in? Balcony. This is the balcony the ledge led to. Okay, it overlooks the terrace. Oh, I mean, that was stupid, right? It's just closed again. No need to lock it again. And that's where the lady was wondering. Keep the draft out. Alright, from the library, let's go to the second floor. My god, this place is enormous. Room 12 is guarded, but we should probably check it out. Uh, so it's just east, which is, I think, the way we're facing. Yeah. What's this? Staff only. I say I haven't been here, but if I had, oh, there's a box room. If I had, I would have put the candle out, surely. Uh, let's go to room 12. Let's go to room 12. Hang on. Wait a second, there's no room for a staff only door. Is that the staff only room? I know it was on the north, that was staff only. So this is the door to room 12, it's in the middle over here. Oh, yeah, what's this? It's not a readable book. It's a library sign. Ah, there's the door to room 12, okay. That's why there's an armed guard. Use the guard for the occupants of room 12. You know what? Because there's an armed guard, I'm going to actually use one of these. Oh wait, you're not... You're not armed. Clara, dear, see if one of your guards can fetch me a tonic. My nerves are frayed and I feel even more drained since we arrived. And that horrid forest. I know you want to teach Armand a lesson, dear, but we're the ones suffering for it. Have them bring in the rest of the luggage while they're at it. They just walk in circles all day. They do indeed, and all night. Nothing on this bed. Right, where are you? You're walking around the circle all day as well. Sumptuous bathroom. Where's nothing for me? Throw a pile of money, which is definitely for me.
I can't quite get in that corner. <laughs> Let's just sit up here. <coughs> did I check this mantelpiece? I did not, but there's only books. And what's through here? Ah, kids room. Staff of guests must dispose of their own waste. We hope your masters enjoy their stay. Oh, this is the guards room. Oh, that's the note. Dear Lucky, it must be so boring. So you could have some fun with these fancy specs. The Phantom. Okay. This Phantom really is a prankster, aren't they? Ma'am, don't block my way to the door. Okay, thank you. Alright, that's room 12. I guess keep going along this corridor. I well, we don't need to go to the third floor yet, but... Um, We'll find room 11, we'll find room 10. Oh, hello. That is the guard. Where is he going? Is he just walking the halls? Or, uh... Is the library? Hang on, we came from the library. How is this to the library? Wait, I was pointing the other way. Okay, okay. I'm stupid. Room 11. Are you alright there, mate? Practicing? Do you feel lucky, punk? Why do I keep reading the signs? They're all the same. You know, you're a hazard to yourself for that sort of thing. It looks sharp. Colonel Augustus. Well, these look sharp too. I hope you like sleeping on a bed of swords. It would be very funny if that killed him. <laughs> well, it would be possible, depending on what the, uh, the stim stuff it was. Six flash bombs. That's a lot of flash bombs, considering I'm... Not expecting to get caught by, you know, piles of guards since I've seen, well, two armed people now. Yeah, he saw nothing. Over we'll here. To cleaning staff, for the last time I expect clean towels in my room thrice daily. Forget a tip, if you don't do what I say I will have you fired. <sighs> Mr. Nightingale, the problem guest. <laughs> but also, he's the one with the stone tablet piece we need and... Oh, see if the proprietor has information about the Casper problem, we have to get into their office. Um, I like how we haven't done a single objective and have been wandering around this hotel now for, what, two hours? Uh, so he's got the stone tablet piece and surely we've seen at least two places that could belong. Esteemed Sir M. Arrived at hotel with tablet piece safe in hand. Since this is where it was recovered, it stands to reason the artifact is here as well. I believe this fragment will reveal the location of the legendary Scarlet Cascabel. Please send this week's fee of 5,000 gold to finance our operation post-haste. You will soon possess the finest prize any king could covet. Your servant, J. Nightingale, Esquire. Acquisition specialist, huh? There's someone there. Read the sign in every single place. <coughs> Nothing. Oh, that's locked. That's, that's great. Very general, though. What does that have to say? This is the life for during a lavish hotel at my employer's expense. Might as well buy my time and milk this fat cow for all it's worth. Even the luxury comes with its imperfections, however. The staff are lazy ignorant. How hard can daily town fetching be? 
And more, the only available room appropriate to my status is coloured in prissy pink wallpaper. I want something manly, damn it. I demanded the front desk move me into a new room. Charge it to the fattened cow, of course. Speaking of my illustrious employer, I'd better keep track of expenses. Retainer fee, 2500 weekly, gold coin only. Room and board, 1000 weekly. Expendable supplies fee, wine and spirits, 500, gambling, 1000. Now to earn my pay. The tablet piece clearly speaks of a blind and hungry serpent. This may refer to man's avarice, so I intend to begin my search in the chapel. Either that or the kitchens. Well, that can wait till tomorrow. All this stress is giving me a headache. I think I'll order one of those foot baths. I think Nightingale is on the wrong track, as usual. <coughs> I mean, as usual, do you know this guy? Well, he's gonna have a nice rest. <coughs> Why I um, pick the lock. Don't don't burn your head, sir. I just got a key from him. Didn't even notice who's carrying it. Come on. Sleep, what was the key? Nightingale's money box key. Oh. Guess I'm not this picking is the just what I was looking for. Stone tablet piece. That is from the courtyard. Okay. Alright, so I could have just picked his pocket and unlocked it. That's alright, whatever. I don't I don't begrudge him a bump on the head, you know. I'm generous, I'll I'll knock anyone on the head if it'll uh, quieten them up. Alright, so we've got the thing, we've got the courtyard. We've got the courtyard for the uh, the thing there that's that's not anything to do with the Kind of lost city locks that we've been seeing around the place. So I still am uh, none the wiser as to what they are. What is this? Oh, it's a clock. Hang on now. That's a secret door, right? If anything is. Where are we? Just come out of Nightingale's second floor. Uh, facing around the southwest corner of a hole. Yeah, there's a secret doorway through there. Just got to be, right? Although I don't know why I need it, let's just start here. Let's not make too much noise. It's room nine. After a while, all these rooms start to look pretty similar. Rooms, five out of ten stars, need toilets. I would rather not suffer the indignity of having a maid glare at my waist. And guards know what else they find. Service, six out of ten. While otherwise excellent, I'm still waiting for my luggage to be brought up. Seems an understaffing issue. Food, eight out of ten. Kidney porridge is good, but far too much venison on the menu. The corn and onion chowder has a piquant aftertaste that I can't put my finger on. Atmosphere, nine out of ten. The hotel strength is the remote cliffside location and unique feeling of mystery. What a treat to dwell in the same rooms this famous family once did. It's as if a veil were lifted from the past, welcoming us moderners. In general, I will write up the Blackwell as a 7 out of 10. Is the Blackwell ready for us? Old world charm and mystic countryside lend themselves to fantasy and escape, but changes are in order before it can satisfy the true dilettante. How do I write about toilets without sounding vulgar? Well, you can try it scientifically. <coughs> Do you have any, nothing on your belt? Anything on your mouth piece? No. <coughs> oh, I almost didn't see that. <clears throat> All right, seven out of ten, huh? I mean, that's that's a little pessimistic, really. This one won the competition, so uh... why was this door already open? Are you the guest, or are you? Or are you cleaning the place? Your hotel staff, right? 
Yeah. Cleaning the place, that's alright. Hello. Let's see what's in here. More of those green gems. 2070. Do we actually have a loot goal? No, we don't. At least not yet. And another water arrow. Which I now have plenty of. I'm not really using them much. Did I check above this bed? No. Nothing. A sorry friend, it is. I'll stay out of this way in case he becomes a little stabby friend. <coughs> right, where are we now? F north. Alright, that's above the dining room. Oh wait, if that's the secret door, this this area looks like it might be sealed off. Let's, keep, let's follow this round and finish exploring these halls and then come back to the dining room. <coughs> We've still got a uh, chest piece to find in the dining room, I think. <coughs> Please do not disturb. I mean, Mr. Room 7. Aha! Can't get into Room 7. Need a key. Okay. Can drop back down to the courtyard if we wish. To the library. Staff only. Okay, yeah, there's a, the box room is only accessible from that clock. Alright. Let's just finish exploring this area. <coughs> Here's the other balcony above the courtyard. Okay. Right, this is the way we came. Yeah, candles. Candles have been. Oh. Candles have, that have been put out are a good indication that I've been here. Oh, you, sir, are a nuisance. This is silly. I'm going around <laughs> knocking out hotel staff. Uh, Pretty much willy nilly and leaving the guy with the sword alone. That's ridiculous. Let's do something about it. Let's take you back to your bedroom, sir, and your employer will think you've been sleeping on the job and have you fired, and everything. everyone will live happily ever after. Oh, hang on, you've got more than one card. Well, there was a bunk bed, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, two cards here. Maybe they've both been sleeping on the job, you know? Is this one? Oops. Shut the door so that. Lady there doesn't see us. This is the way to the clock. I can hear another guard. Maybe the other one's not a guard. It sounded like a guard. Go for your evening stroll, ma'am, to the next room. Please, I'm in a hurry. Sigh. This guy's heavy, you know. Thank you. <coughs> All right, so firstly, I'm surprised to have heard someone else. Sounds like I'm right in front of me, but... 
explored in the hallway behind me. Surely they gotta be upstairs. Yeah, they're wandering upstairs there. What have we got here? Very nice luggage. Something valuable, hopefully. Uh, we won't go up to the next floor yet. Um, here's the clock. Right, this clock is inordinately suspicious. Is that a switch on top? Something on top. Indeed, it was a switch. And it's a secret. So a great and a oh it's a great that's fallen out, okay. I'd say it's at a funny angle right, for a floor grate, but uh, it's from the ceiling. A ring. Is that that's wood up there, isn't it? Nope. Just wasting a second one. Let's try and get this edge, which is wood. So this vent is metal, and whoops, the other ones are all wooden. Where does this go? Uh, oh, is this the bedroom I couldn't get into? Yes, this would be room seven, wouldn't it? Yeah, because we came up here. Okay. Oh, something is up. It's a conspiracy here, so yeah. Make sure we can get out again. Agatha died in advance. Years, natural causes. Grieved beloved brother in early life. No, she's not included. Room 13. Malevolent spirit. Two confirmed heart attacks. Both male. Scared to death. Encounters limited to the one area, so likely not our red lady. Where is room 13? It seems to be gone. Oh, what's his web blues? Who is the Red Lady? Blackwell family? Elizabeth? After Alexander and Elizabeth, manor vacated until current ownership, no other Blackwells came forward to take res residence. Did they fear something? Loving marriage, no children, some unknown tragedy, perhaps covered up by the family? What happened to her husband, Alexander? A curse? Could explain the family's fear and secrecy. Could explain the suicides, etc. If it is a powerful curse, I suspect the tragedies will escalate over time. But if so, why Elizabeth, who by all accounts was admired and lived a happy life? Pool room entity, playful, childlike. Charlotte. Room 1, Spectre. Male presence, neutral aggression. Witnesses experience sadness or despair. The Phantom. Staff referred to as Crow as he likes to hide things in hard to reach places. Nuisance to staff, thefts. Said to be spirit of a hotel worker who was fired for shenanigans. Note, don't eat the chowder. Ah, room 7 key, that's how we get out. That hack author wrote a fantastical tale about the hauntings here. A history, he calls it. And Red Lady is so pedestrian. I'm leaning towards Scarlet myself. How does one building have so much bad luck? Suicides, murder, fatal accidents, the list goes on. I sense a gloominess here that makes you wonder what sort of blight is spreading behind the polished wooden extravagance. Perhaps everything is connected and these aren't isolated incidents. Maybe this blight influences certain people. The staff are forthcoming with their accounts, but they don't know I'm here researching my book. To them, I'm only a generous tipper who never needs his room cleaned. I want to meet with the proprietor. He is a distant Blackwell descendant and the first to reside in the manor for ages. I hear his office is in the library. Perhaps we can strike up a chat. Very well. I guess I wouldn't need that. The Red Lady of Blackwell Hall, A History, and many other books for his researchers. Ah, so did I knock this fellow out in the library perhaps? Relaxation techniques to increase blood flow to the brain. Well, I mean, the good thing about having this place all so thoroughly haunted is, uh, 
they'll just put it all down to the ghost, you know, all these bumps on the head. No, I'm turned about. Where was that? Where was that clock again? I want to get my other rope arrow back. It's just around here. Wasn't it? Yes. All right. I'll, uh... <laughs> so much sure to notice. Ah, I can't, can't close it again. Never mind. Uh, so I've been in room 7, been in room 10, been in room 8 and 9, been all the way down here. And across there. All right, to the dining room, which is back to the north. I have been over there, yeah. Yes, this is the one, this is the one that's being cleaned. All right, to the dining room. So there, up there, on the other side. The chapel. There's a chapel. Someone there? Oh, she's downstairs. Sorry, nothing here now. Of course, hello. <laughs> so people. Who was that there? I saw something. Oh, it's very bright, isn't it? I don't know what that was. I don't like this. Yeah, you and me, lady. about look upon the obstacle from all aspects of the self and you will see the way through Alexander Blackwell well she's gone now I'm thinking I might have to use a rope anyway I can't this is too narrow really to stand on properly Oh no, I can get it. Alright, that's the dining room one. That's not the book. That's the wrong book. That's the book I was looking for. So, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one, and that. And that one, and this one. We got this one. We have not been to the crypts. We did get this one. Heaven's Peel. Must be a bell, right? I see the heavens from on high, look upon the lens if me you'd spy. Um, wait, we went to the telescope at the library, but didn't see... Maybe there's another telescope on the third floor? Somewhere on the roof, maybe? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, alright, let's head east to the chapel, and then come round to room six. The chapel is open at all hours for our devout guests or those seeking solace. Fully restored to its original condition, generations of Blackwells were blessed and interred in this chapel. Some family members were followers of the builder, but today the sanctuary is a welcome place of prayer for all faiths. Did you know that pagans like to have human sacrifice with their prayer, you know? Are you, are you okay with that? Hello? What are you doing standing in the corner there? Meditating or something, you know? Whatever you're just doing, that's fine. You just stay there and I will try to stay quiet. Oh, I'll take that. I mean, you still left your big Hammerite iconography everywhere, so, uh, what is this? The hand of Saint Faustin. Brother Faustin achieved sainthood for the numerous exorcisms he performed by the laying on of hands. Hello. 
Well, that doesn't unlock this. Lock with something. Interesting. Oh. It's locked with this. Yeah, there's St. Faustin. Already? Well, I think we can take it that, uh... Maybe that'll help us with the, uh... The phantom up in the attic. Mankind will see the goodness, the goodness of life through the eyes of the soul. Alfonso Silvera. Oh, we didn't want to leave it again. Putting all these candles out. Are you on fuse now? All right. Where? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. No, nope, that's not the book. Spirits from these shadows also down from the stair, but where can spirits be consumed whilst upon your derriere? No. Obviously, that's talking about the second floor lounge, right? Or was it the third floor lounge? The lounge, yeah. I remember something about on your derriere, I was wondering if it was referring to the chapel here, but no. Hopefully nobody's consuming spirits in here, that would be sacrilegious. Let's go. Oh, this is the bell. <laughs> well, there was something about the bell, right? If me you steal, seek heaven's peel. Well, uh... Don't have a heaven, heaven, but, uh... A bell would seem to be... Relevant. Bishop. Alright, how many repairs do I have left? Just the one. Kinda want this. <laughs> but at the same time... Let's see if I can get it in here. Maybe more. Ah, uh, no. Let's, let's reload. That's a long way down. Hmm. If I try to use the bell to kind of break the fall, what happens? It kind of doesn't. Oh! Ouch. Ah, I've still got a healing potion. Fine. Okay, so this is somewhere on the ground floor I wasn't able to get to, right? Oh, crypt, that's not easy. Oh, this is the crypt. Okay, good. So there's been another chess piece here in the crypt somewhere. And who knows what else? Silver. Oh, can I get up the top one? I don't think I can. Tears of remembrance water the flowers of eternity. Yes, yes. Charlotte Blackwell, rest in peace, our angel. Um, a little angel heaven blessed hath took me to eternal rest. Wait. You're not in there, are you? Does this open somehow? Hmm. That's not a clue, is it? Tears of Remembrance. No. Wait, what are the flowers of eternity? I just need to shoot at the flower. Thank you, Charlotte. Or Trickster. Well, maybe that is the ghost of Charlotte then. The, the, the Trickster ghost. The, the Prankster ghost. Now there's a second one, right? In the crypt. Where's the book? So we have the oldest, I share the oldest Blackwell's tomb. Who is the oldest Blackwell? I don't know, let's just go around as we find the place. The oldest Blackwell's tomb will surely have some kind of uh, 
block to mark it, right? It's not gonna be like this one. This will be the black wells. In loving memory of our good lord and lady, lady, may they find each other in eternity. Elizabeth Blackwell, Alexander Blackwell. Hmm. I don't see any more chess pieces. I don't suppose these ones want the flowers water too, right? No, oh, that would be silly. Alright, um... Let's just keep looking around. Missing. I'm certainly missing one. I wonder if it's on up on there. Can't see. Kinda looked like there's something up there, but it might have just been the flame. Yeah, I think it's just the flame. Who was older? Alexander or Elizabeth? Neither. Well, see, I don't even know if this chest piece is. Are they optional? Or are they required? I really don't know. It feels like it's important. It feels closely related to everything else that's going on in this place. But, um,. Is that, is that a door? Oh, it clunks. Interesting. There's no way I can get up there, right? There's no... No wood suitable for a uh, river. What about this side? Does this side also clunk? It might just be nothing. No, this side does not clunk. This might be the oldest Blackwell's tomb, yeah, this might be, uh, something highly relevant. But, I don't know what, so we're on the north side of the crypt, which is... Where's the chapel? There. Right, the crypt map here. So there's a door here. But we need a... We need... We need some more information, I think. Okay. Let's, let's leave it at that. We need some more information. We'll come back here later. But for now... I think this is an excellent view on which to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me here for the next episode shortly.